The worst case scenario is that coffee goes extinct. So we decided to make those worst fears a reality and create something that we hoped we would never have to produce again. we had to imagine ourselves in a world where coffee didn't exist anymore. Coffee without coffee, impossible. We can't do it. It's extremely difficult to imitate coffee. We had to combine a lot of very, very unique, weird ingredients together. We then prepared them, sometimes in pretty specific ways. Then we combined them in different percentages, different amounts. <laughs> this one's weird. To make the blend 2080, we had to make at least 30 to 40 different variations and then slowly whittle all of those down to one. I think that we did the best job that we could under the circumstances. The taste is kind of flat. Very thick. Some were close to really bad coffee. We had a really good team, we had really good ingredients, and we tried everything we possibly could to make a product as close as possible to real coffee. But we need to try really hard to keep coffee around for as long as possible because it's not something you can replicate very easily. 